working. How can, how can you not? The, the, the Al PBC, they have all the welterweights. Mm -hmm. So how are you not going to see the best fighting the best? What would be your timetable for that? Oh, I don't know, because I'm not really concerned with that. I'm, I'm involved with some other stuff, but I know what's going on. I know every <laughs> fight that's going on about to be made and all the above. But there are a lot of competitive fights within the PBC mm -hmm. that are going to get made, not could be made, that are going to get made. I mean, is, 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 is just the boxing IQ underrated? We always talk about Mike. Very, <laughs> very much so. Very much so. The kid can go. The kid, I, I can, I can honestly say firsthand. I got a chance to see him box. Boy, I was extremely impressed. And not, it wasn't that old. That, that some have one way or another, but it's just it very impressive to see a, a young guy that reminds you a lot of yourself. You know what I mean? But then he happens to be left hand, he happens to be bigger and it's like, girl, girl, girl is a beast. <laughs> He's a fucking beast, man. It's like I'm just like Isn't he too well, that's, that's why I do respect Mikey for taking this fight. Because a lot of times I'm telling you guys, it looks a little easier until you get up in there. It looks just a little bit easier until you get up in there. And Earl, Earl Spence has one of the best jabs in boxing. He's, he's probably the best body puncher in boxing. You know, just same way, same way they talk about Whitaker's defensive skills. Cornell was also one of the best body punchers in the sport. You know, and Earl is just, he has a punishing jab. And he just, and the mental pressure that he puts on you, you gotta have some shit to back him up. If you don't have nothing to back him up, then what are we talking about? Well, what happened with him and Crawford since we got you going? Would, would he beat Crawford, Spence, or you got to give it to, to Terrence? That Spence beat Crawford. And, and, really? And He's that special, huh? Spence beats Crawford, wow. and I, I love, <laughs> I think Terrence is the best fighter in the world. Pound, it's, pound. it's just that what, and the, and the thing about Earl, he got better. I, I personally see from when he worked with Floyd how much better that he's gotten. It's just little tips that he's gotten from Floyd. Yeah. And it's just like, he's tough, man. That dude, that dude is one wow. tough, that yeah. dude is one tough dude. And it's like, if you got a fighter and you got to go through him on some real shit, you better probably be going around the other, <laughs> probably better be going around really? the other door, man. He's, you, why are some of the legends picking Mikey to defend? Well, well, because a lot of times what happens is that a lot of the legends who, you, you know, they had a tremendous amount of success in the sport, you know, but shit is different. Shit, shit is different. When, when I brought Earl in for camp, I mean, we had like five killers that Floyd was working with. And I felt bad because it was like, it was like five championship fights that, Floyd had to fight, I mean, you know, to work back to back to back. But but with uh with Earl, it's like that shit was a fight. Really? It was a fight because it's like, and he don't approach it. He's one of the most respectful, humble guys that are out there. He just comes to do his thing. But the dude can go. And Mikey can go too. But I just think that he doesn't have enough to keep him off of for 12 rounds. You might can he, he, Mikey got tremendous footwork, uh, excellent counter puncher. But if you're not going, if you're not putting that heat on Broner, um, um, Easter, meaning the heat where it's just like you just what, what are you gonna do with Earl Spence, a guy that's gonna keep on coming and coming and coming and coming. But I, I, I think it's gonna be an excellent fight. And, uh, and again, one thousand percent, you gotta give the nod to. To, uh, and and people make a big deal out of there's no pressure on Mikey. Mikey got a lot of damn pressure on him. Don't don't be fooled with none of that because as good as Mikey is, Mikey don't want to go into this fight. And and not only does it come off 
on the other side of the fence, but you can get beat up in a fight and never be the yeah, same. Yeah, never be the same. Sure you, 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 you know what I'm saying? This is a very dangerous fight. Very, very dangerous. But again, I love his courage. I, I, I think that he's one of the best fighters out there. We would have loved to work with the kid, and, and it's like, he's an exceptional talent. And, and you see how, you know, he worked with the brothers and, you know, all of that. And, and, and again, nothing but mad respect for Mikey. That's what I'm saying. Earl will have to get way more credit for beating and dominating Mikey Garcia the way that I envisioned it. That he might not get to stop it, but I'm telling you, he's, he's going he's gonna, to he's gonna inflict a lot of damage and a lot of, you know, pain. He just has no choice. I mean, you know, it's not like that, that Errol's going to set a trap for him and Okay, yeah, I'm coming. Um, and he's not going to be able to figure it out. I mean, Earl's has seen it up. Shit, fucking Earl the box Floyd Mayweather. Yeah, right. <laughs> you, you, you know what I mean? That's all you need to know. Yeah, it's all, all you need to know. And it was a thinking thing. Really? Yeah, this shit is it's chess, not checkers. You, you know what I mean? And it's like, and that was five, what is it, five, six years ago when he boxed. That's what Derek.